Miami training diaries, showing you guys behind the scenes of what's going on in my training camp as I prepare for my fight in Madison Square Garden. The team behind the team, 258 management, who manage me and do a great job, had come out here early on to kind of manage this whole setup, to bring what I have in London to Miami. So come through, see the gym, and see what it's all about. Here we have the showers, for the sparring partners and myself after training. And uh, I'm gonna take you into the gym. It's so warm, but that's what we like. You know, come in here, you start sweating straight away. Let me find the light switch real quick. So this is it. This is my baby, this is boxing. My first love come through. This is where the hard work's gonna go down for the next three weeks. So we come in, kind of bring this place to life. If you think about it, it's just like an empty warehouse. But that's what I love about boxing. You need a ring, some weights, and then it's up to the boxers to kind of bring the character in. So if I was here for longer, I would have brought some of the great fighters, pitchers down here and so on. But we've got Anthony Joshua, 258, AJBXNG, training camp. That's a classic. That's on our classic t-shirts. You'll be seeing it on the website real soon. Lions then. Drake turned the O2 into the O3. We call the O2 the Lions then. Let me take you over here. To be honest, this geezer here, the guy who done the graffiti, he done that himself. I let him off with that one. Some nice artwork, permanent vacation. Here we have the little SSC room. No bench press or none of that. I'm not really into doing upper body weights. Squat rack, deadlift rack, big boy weights, trap bar. Do you know what I mean? Straight gutter. Um, weight floor so you can kind of drop the weights and have no issues. Spin bike. I do about 20 minutes on this bike as well after training. So that's good. Kind of get the legs going, flush out the system. The rower. Pain. That is pain. Come through. So yeah, look. Look at the space. I forgot to show you this actually. Of all things. Wow. This means a lot to me. And remember, everything I'm seeing here, I didn't design. I didn't put in no creative input. It's all the team and it's special because what this represents to me, right? So you've got the five diamonds at the top. Five star general. And then you've got the shield, which is about protection. You've got the cross, which for me represents the ankh from ancient Kemet or Egypt, whatever you want to call it. You have the panther, which certain people love tigers, certain people's favorite animals are lions. But the panther means a lot to me. So that's the panther. We have 258, which is a company that represents me and the company that I stand by. 258, we work as if we have another hour and another day. Most people work 247, 24 seven. We work 25-8. This is where I'm from. This is my heritage, Africa. This place here is, um, is like the center of the world. There's a lot of history in Africa anyway, so people should get to know a lot of the history in Africa. And AJ, always jabbing, Anthony Joshua. That's me, so that's the history here. And AJ BXNG is kind of like, it's the staple name, AJ Boxing. Like, this is what I do, AJ Boxing. So this is all about me and what I stand by. The shield, the crest, and we took it that far to the next step, now I got it on my chain. Come through. Greatness is within. Small statements, things that you can follow. The Lions then, boxing. Got the, eight, got the ice machine, the AC machine. Got the speed ball. That's the speed ball there. I've done my session this morning. Listen, nothing's ever gonna be perfect. <laughs> so I'm punching, I'm punching, I'm punching. The whole bag comes out of the wall. <laughs> Don't worry about that, that's boxing feet. Stay hungry on the wall here. Stay humble. Two words I live by. Staying hungry means no matter where you've come from, the struggles your peoples have faced, your family, 
or no matter how far you get in life. I think it's always important to remain ambitious. I feel like man and woman should live with a purpose. So that's important to always live with purpose and so that's stay hungry and stay humble for me kind of says, no matter if I'm meeting the president, the king of a country, or I'm meeting someone who's struggling in society, I treat them with the same respect. I don't turn my nose up at one or ask like another. Do you know what I mean? I think it's always important to carry yourself with dignity and carry that level of respect. And um, we have the other punch bags here, the heavy bags. Uh, it's a big gym, it's a lot of space. So sorry it's taking so long. We have the flag here, the American colors. And we have a smaller ring because it's important to learn how to control your space. It's about ring generalship, boxing science. We've got a big ring here, but I don't really work in there too much because I feel you can end up getting lost in there and you end up going on a walk. You don't want to engage and boxing and fighting is all about engaging. Being in a small pocket, learning how to stay comfortable, slipping, sliding, rolling, pulling out, bang, bang, making them, making them miss and making them pay. So we work in a small area to kind of uh, practice those traits. That's about it really, but as I said, I should really have one of these in London. I'm surprised I haven't. I'd love to kind of open one of these and register an amateur boxing club. You know, where have I grew up? Watford ABC, where I could come and train for my world title fights, pop some of my history, what I've done, inspire some of the local youth, let them come and train, go out and represent, and hopefully that they can kind of emulate and, and do well at something and kind of just just find a passion that they love as much as I fell in love with boxing. So that's what I'd love to do. And it's given me this, the inspiration coming here to do something like this back in London. That's about it. So thanks for kind of seeing my gym. You could probably see how passionate I am and like I gave you some information on certain parts of the, the paintings and the characteristics of the gym and what it represents. And this is boxing. Boxing ring, some weights over here and boxing bags. And that's all you need to kind of make it what it is and then the last kind of, what do they call it? Cherry on the cake or icing on the cake would be the passion, the hunger, desire and belief. That's what kind of fuels dreams in this place. Thanks for tuning in. Y'all ain't got to leave, but I'm staying right here. Until next time, see you soon.